We're talking about Godzilla today, everyone. Uh, the big green beast from Japan that, you know, uh, tends to appear out of nowhere and then destroys the city. And then I guess they rebuild and then he destroys it again. King of the monsters. He is a fictional monster or a kaiju, which that term has been around for forever, even before, uh, uh, what was it? Pacific Rim, which I thought that's where they originated from. But no, kaijus uh, have been around for a long time. And I believe he was first used, was it Godzilla King of the Monsters, 1956? Godzilla originally 1954 is what I have. Or shit. Yeah. Godzilla has been around in many different iterations. One of my favorites as a child, I think we had talked about in one of the earlier episodes, uh, Godzilla 1985, probably my favorite Godzilla movie. Um, I can't remember what else we were talking about. Maybe it was school dances we brought up Godzilla. I don't know. That could be it. Oh, yeah. So first Godzilla was 1954. And the last one was, of course, 2021. They have no idea where it's going to go from there. I think I have a pretty good idea. He's going to smash some buildings. <sighs> yeah, well... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good call. When in doubt, when in doubt, oh, he's going to smash buildings. But something that I found out that was interesting was his original roar in 1954 is a combination of rubbing pine tar coated leather gloves over a double bass string. That's how they were able to get his original roar. <laughs> well, what? Something what like was that. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that? No? All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's more like a Rodan. <laughs> yeah, I think so. A bird. Yeah, oh. that's more of a Rodan, if you will. <laughs> Got to put a little so, yeah. more bass in my voice. So yeah. that was, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's cool how they do the gaffing in those movies where they get all the sounds and stuff from. Well, uh, I guess the first question, for me anyways, in this, what do you like more, the CGI version or the guy in the suit? I always love the guy in the suit. I thought the guy in the suit was great. I mean, you know, when you're young, you're not even thinking about it. So I remember well, Godzilla coming on like late night and watching mm -hmm. it. And like sci-fi seeing... channel and shit. Yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. not even, I don't even care that it's a shitty rubber suit, which was stolen, by the way. And uh, The original suit was stolen? One of the original suits in 1992 was stolen. And Fuck. it was worth $39,000. It was stolen. Then it was lost, and then it washed up on shore in Japan, <laughs> where it frightened a woman to death. So to frightened death. a woman to death while she was out on the walk. <laughs> yes. Oh fuck. Yep. That's a way so, to go. Yeah, yeah. Well, she didn't die. Figure speech. Oh, but... oh, oh. Okay. I thought she <laughs> literally fucking died seeing no, a Godzilla. No. Is it no, weird that I'm disappointed died. a woman didn't die? I, I kinda, oh, like, oh, that's kind of serial killer like well if you isolate that sentence <laughs> well i just um, <laughs> you know i wanted i wanted i wanted the story <laughs> but yeah godzilla the big guy the green guy um was he a, a lizard possibly a dinosaur with radiation an iguana that um stepped into a uh, a green ooze canister i don't know he <laughs> could have been the reason the bloop he's the bloop the in bloop this, in the ocean that's what he is right no yes no. Ah! the radiation the radiation is a good point that because when they originally did godzilla wasn't it because of fear from nuclear atomic war nuclear war yeah well japan yeah. had just been decimated in world war ii they got uh humbled a little mm -hmm. bit and um a little bit uh yeah, a little bit, twice, and yeah. um, I'm doing the the narrow face and uh, yeah, got, a little, little yeah, bit, little bit. You disrespect <laughs> they actually, yeah, they got blown up a little bit, a little bit. The, and you know what's crazy is there is a uh, which one was it? Godzilla vs. Ghidorah, where there's a scene where American troops get decimated by Godzilla and uh, freaking the Japanese troops uh, sigh a sigh of relief. It did not go over well with American audiences. So. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Well, let's just say American audiences, I guess we kind of, well, see, th that's where it is. Did we earn that? Like, you know, we kind of uh, completely decimated, possibly could have almost destroyed the earth with those two atomic uh, bombs we dropped. But we're they like the worst winners needed to be humble. <laughs> we're like the uh -huh. worst. We're, we're like the worst winners of all time. Like, <laughs> It's yeah, the, it's like the equivalent of Shaq dunking on you and then just 
throwing you down, shitting in your face. Like, damn, man, you already won. Like, why are you doing this? No, nope. yeah. I don't know. No, oh, you know what? I'm in the Actually, mood. well, if you want to get into a little bit of history, like if we would have kept the campaign going and whatnot, uh, Japan, the, they were brutal. They were fucking brutal back yeah. then. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a good chance that if they would have gotten a second win, they could have taken over the whole different Pacific Islands and whatnot because they were already doing it. They, I don't know. Watch the TV show, The Pacific. <laughs> And it's uh, at it's what kind point of, uh, though? Watch because uh -huh. during the Pacific War, we were. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny, but weren't we kicking their ass? And then after we defeated Germany, Russia was going we to do defeated. It. We defeated Germany. I mean, we helped. We we but we, Japan was still fighting. Japan was not stopping. Right, correct. But their air, their air force, and their navy were pretty much mm. decimated. But yes, yes, they kept fighting. Their air force, as and far as I knew, their air force. And was. even when we dropped the bomb, they kept fighting. If it wasn't for they Russia actually, yeah. starting another front, they were more afraid, afraid of Russia because they had basically just destroyed Germany and they saw what they did to Germany. So, yes, even though we've been bombing the hell out of them and we destroy a lot of their, their navy. It, it wasn't until Russia decided to enter basically the the battle with Japan, and that's when they were like, all right, we surrender. But that whole myth that the bomb saved American soldiers' lives, it's like, no, they were already fucking destroyed. Uh, they just, <laughs> what's that? It's a little, and it's, you know, it's a little known. Well, I was going to say, they didn't, well, yeah, this, we're talking yeah, Godzilla, but Japan this. has something to do with it. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> but at the same time, they never surrendered until the bombs dropped. And yeah. they were like, and that was also up front to show Russia, hey, look at America's big fat hog oh, he's yeah. got. <laughs> that was that was aimed at Russia. But to, to say that Japan's like, oh, shit, they just bombed us. All right, we quit. It really, at that point, we bombed so many of their cities. Nukin, though, Nagasaki and Hiroshima was just another city. It was yeah. Russia that basically further like, all right, we're done. Yeah. And it's a little known fact that actually they did get us. Uh, they got us twice. They got us with Pearl Harbor, and then they got us with an uh, incident that happened uh, in Oregon, I believe, where they had little bombs flown over here on parachutes. Uh, I forget what they were called. Fugo? Fugo uh, bombs? Yeah, yeah uh, I remember and, reading yeah, something about something that. Something about that, and what happened was is these bombs were being delivered via current and a couple of them made it to the states Whoa. and they didn't detonate and this family that was picnicking a uh, church family with uh kids from school were picnicking and they went and the father uh, or the minister was setting up and he heard this scream and it was his wife and the kids got immolated from accidentally detonating one of these oh. little bombs yeah oh, that i gotta look that up i never thing. heard that that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. See, they happened. never gave up, Don. They never gave up. <laughs> yeah. So that it's it's it was one of those things where they don't talk about it because you know it was a back then you didn't want to cause a panic. But to this day they're still finding the little bombs shit like that that hadn't detonated. But yeah, they were like paper parachutes that flew on a certain current current and as they came over sandbags would drop slowly to allow them to hit their target history lesson brought to you by after school special podcast yeah that shit was wild <laughs> oh, yeah, that is wild yeah. i never heard Cue that the more you know uh, the more you know music oh, i yeah. gotta get that yeah. <laughs> no it's okay it's okay i'm trying to delete um, something god damn it they keep charging um, me um what well, was I gonna say? Uh, Godzilla was kind of the start of the Japanese like film industry. They were doing these kaiju movies. Um, big question, you know, you have Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla is, and you, I know you were gonna bring this up, John, and we can wait a little bit. But the uh, his son, so Godzilla being Manila, Manila, yeah, yeah, which is no one liked him, uh, oh. as we discussed earlier. And, uh, but he is a single dad slash maybe mom. I don't think they really described his, uh, Ad adoptive, 
Godzilla was his adoptive father, so it okay, was, yeah, it wasn't like uh, biological. Okay, because I was gonna ninety eight. So you get to ninety eight. So. Yeah, I was gonna say, and then, well, like you have, uh, I guess our answer, the United States answer to Godzilla was King Kong. My whole thing is, is like King Kong was a gorilla, and you see like a a, a gorilla primate or an ape, and you know you never see his balls. You don't. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. I mean, but that's with any giant monster. You don't necessarily see the genitalia. I think oh. that would I think that would be the focal point of the movie. At that I think point. so. Leave it also, to Aaron. It to would point uh, that bring out. fear into people. You see it and it oh, promotes man. fear. Mostly men see it. I'm it's telling you, that thing with <laughs> Anne, uh, what's her name? Anne uh, in Kong, that would have changed the whole dynamic of that relationship if he was running around with her and his dick was swinging. Yeah, That's, just look uh, at that set. <laughs> <laughs> so, leave, yeah. Leave it to Aaron changed. to point that shit out. Yeah. Well, of course. No, you have to anything. Like you think about mm. uh, The Incredible Hulk. And you go, you know, you focus on what? The dong? Come on. Yeah, of well, course. Well, that happened. That sec. happened. That happened in two Hulk movies where they talked about it, but it didn't come to fruition. So the first one was 2003, where Hulk, I like that one, Eric Bana. Hulk got so big, he burst out of his pants. Whoa, so he Jack. was naked when he was fighting those giant dogs, if you remember that scene. <laughs> and then the other scene, then the other scene was, it was. And you can tell we're film nerds. I watched the commentary. The other scene was in the one with uh, Norton, where it was supposed to be in the movie, but they cut it because kids were going to be watching it. And it was uh, him and Betty are in bed. And he's like, hey, I, I can't get excited. But, you know, Betty is pushing him. And she slowly fills it, and then she's like, "Okay, okay." Guys, she wants that big green slab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that slab. So it's it's funny because yeah, what was supposed to happen is they were getting intimate, and then he was getting too excited, and that's when she's like, oh, "Okay, he needs to calm down." <laughs> yeah. So they cut it out of the movie. On you coming through. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say Godzilla with the uh, the monster, like other monsters, the rogue gallery of monsters. You have Mecha Godzilla, John. D well, I don't know if you have a list of them. Rodan, uh, Rodan, Mecha Godzilla, and Garrus, uh, Mothra, Queen of the Monsters. You had uh, uh, Mecha Rodan, uh, Mecha. King Ghidorah, and then you have Space Godzilla. So, so many different monsters. And you know what's funny is, he didn't just go up against his rogue, he went up against American superheroes too, that a lot, a lot of people didn't know. Uh, yeah, so, I read about that myself. Yeah. 1977, 1979, Marvel ran a 24 issue comic book series featuring Godzilla fighting the Avengers and the Fantastic Four. Uh, I don't know how that ended, but that would have been great to read reed so, richards being used as a fucking like i don't know floss dental floss and yeah then... him him godzilla going against them uh i would love to have seen that and there was supposed to be also in the dc realm a batman versus godzilla film but it was dead in the water no one could come up with a good idea for it other than hey batman should fight godzilla <laughs> and nothing never happened with it so it's like how the guy would that go how would I was going to say, go? it's like the guy that um, said, it's like, oh, I just, I really want a, a like a spider in this Superman movie. And then yes. it's Wild Wild West. That would, um, so Batman versus Godzilla. Uh, he has the contingency plan for everything, so. Yeah, he does. My thing is, is like, it, it, it it's going to focus mostly on Batman, his trials yeah. and tribulations, uh, going up against a uh, massive beast. And then they come up with something to quell the monster yeah and then he goes back i mm -hmm. that's kind of how i look at it so not a good movie no probably <laughs> not and there's a good comic book series out for people who uh, are interested godzilla goes to hell where he what? has to fight ancient uh fight some of his old enemies in hell like it's godzilla <laughs> in hell pretty much so just him dealing with uh, the different, you know, a giant monster having to deal with the different uh, rings of hell, if you will. Really good artwork in that. Um, do you guys know what Godzilla was supposed to be? His original incarnation? 
his original incarnation. I'm going to say Oh, pig. he's supposed to be octopus, I think. Yes. Giant yeah. octopus. Points for Don. Yeah, he was supposed to be a giant <laughs> I did a octopus. little bit of research. Yeah, but they... And fuck uh, your points. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> hey, they hey, uh, hey. luckily went with the reptile dick, so that's cool that they did that. Another person who is associated with Godzilla that I didn't know about was George Takai. He did a lot of dubbing for those movies back in the day. That's how he, that was his <laughs> rise to fame was doing huh. voice dubbing because he had that oh my, my, yeah. George. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. He um, also did uh, dubbing for Rodan in 1955. So, oh, nice. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of those monsters had their, a lot of those uh, kaijus had their own movies. Uh, yes. I, I owned, well, I didn't personally, but my family owned almost every single Godzilla movie on VHS. No shit. Um, <laughs> yep. They, yeah. Godzilla was a big thing in our family, especially my youngest brother, uh, Andrew. Mm -hmm. He, and my uncle, um, I love my uncle to death. He still collects Godzilla figurines. That's his collectible. Anything and everything Godzilla. Yeah. He's got a like an 18 inch that he put together himself. Fuck yeah, uh, bud. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's he's obsessed with Godzilla, and it, a lot of it had to do with my little brother. He, I think Andrew still collects all that shit. But yeah, Godzilla. I don't know. For for me, it was always you know Marvel stuff. But going into the monsters, just watching the uh, the VHSs, it brings back memories of like just Sunday afternoon watching fucking Godzilla tear mm -hmm. up some shit. I wonder what he would do if he was in Detroit. Oh, not much. Probably just take a shit and <laughs> yeah, walk away. Just keep walking. <laughs> hey, so would he go to funny, Belle Isle? Uh, yeah, I, I uh, go to Bell Isle. <laughs> my my memories of Godzilla was not just the films, but the there were two animated series. So there was the one that came out in the early two thousand. There was one that came out before that, like in the seventies, where it was Hanna Barbera. Hanna Barbera. Oh, yep. And it was yeah. Godzilla, and I remember the intro to that. Up from the depths, thirty stories high, breathing fire. He's something in the sky. Godzilla, Godzilla. And then he had a little <laughs> partner called Godzuki, which was Godzilla. Godzuki. <laughs> Godzuki. Oh, yeah. Who was Godzilla, who was Godzilla, but with wings. Like a little Godzilla Jr., but with wings. And he was human size. So um, they if could this, page. I was going to say, if this. It. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. If this episode uh, goes viral or anything like that, I will get Godzuki tattooed in the middle of my chest. Ooh, yeah. yeah ooh, that's yes. Did you we guys hear that, that yeah. audience? <laughs> Make this viral. What do, what do we this need should to be in this should be an incentive to <laughs> definitely get this to go viral cuz uh Gazuki <laughs> Uh, I don't Godzuki. even remember what he looks like. He probably looks like a big fucking dick, doesn't he? No, no. no. <laughs> yes. I'm showing you a bit. No, he's just a little Godzilla <laughs> creature with wings. That's Godzuki. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, let me <laughs> yeah. see this. I will get that tattooed Show that to on my again. chest. Yeah. Can I see that and again, God, John? Oh, and it was every monster. It was just a monster of the week, and Godzuki would be <laughs> up there blowing, puff, blowing puffs of smoke. <laughs> At, at Godzilla, and then Godzilla would spank him to get him out the way. And, oh my uh, god, <laughs> dude, that was Hanna Barbera back in the day. They used to make cartoons for everything. Godzilla has been in every iteration of 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 media, uh, and he's everyone has talked about him at some point. He was even in Jurassic Park Two: Lost World when the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh yeah, goes rampages through uh san diego because you have japanese tourists who are like i just escaped japan to get away from stuff like this yeah they they <laughs> make a little tongue-in-cheek joke about that but yeah it's a part of all our culture not just yeah. japanese culture yeah um but then you also have mangas you have what you were mm -hmm. saying comic books and then there comes the horror genre which Technically, I don't know. They considered it or said it was somewhat horror because of all the blood, but Shin Godzilla, which everyone knows, if you've listened to earlier episodes, I absolutely love that iteration of Godzilla because it's mm -hmm. so fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, it comes out, and it looks like this little creature that's just shooting out blood. 
the yeah. entire Jonathan, you've seen it, right? I've seen bits and pieces of it, not all the way through, but just the parts with Godzilla um, highlights on YouTube. But yeah, I know what you're talking Jeez. about. It's so fucking good. Yeah. Um, the acting, of course, or what uh, the dubs are are terrible. And actually, yeah. if you go back, and that's in the culture where like the whole dubbing over, like they made fun of, and like certain comedy movies and whatnot. If you don't watch it with the dubs, it's so much better. Yeah, that's a, that it's could be that's, subtitles. Uh, that's true. That you know, special note for people watching Squid Games: watch it yeah. in the original language. Do not watch it in the dub. I made that yeah. mistake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got uh, bored of just trying to read it. I'm like, you know what? I needed to. I need to like all people nowadays. I got to look at my phone every fucking ten minutes. So I'm like, all right, I need to just hear it. But that was a big yeah. mistake. Yeah, I did the same thing. I just <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah, I did the same thing. I watched the first couple episodes with the dub, and then the yeah. rest I took it off, and it was a lot better. Um, but Godzilla has also inspired different movie monsters as well. Uh, of recently, I can think of it's not too recent. Cloverfield. Yep. Because yeah. Cloverfield's whole oh. uh pro- process was, uh, I think it was J.J. Abrams. Was it J.J. Mm-hmm. Abrams? Yeah. He went to Japan and he saw all these movie oh. monsters being sold. Uh, and he was like, why does America not have its own monster? Which it does. It's called racism. Anyway. Oh. Uh... <laughs> but Rim so, shot. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it was. On cue, sorry. the more you know soundtrack. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just lost our base in Florida. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he decided to come up with this, which at the time, how many found footage movies were that? I think that was the thing around that time, right? Or well, did it was. Cloverfield's you had. had- well, I was going to say, oh, go ahead. Blair Witch and then Cloverfield, was it? Well, you're talking American, but you also have uh, movies that were made in Japan. Like, mm-hmm. um, oh, God, it was the zombie movie. I think it's like Wreck, R-E-C, was a found footage film. Found okay. footage films have, have been around uh, for a while. Um, even before Cloverfield, like the mm-hmm. Poughkeepsie tapes, uh, Paranormal Activity may have came out a little bit after Cloverfield. Mm-hmm. But when you're talking uh movie monsters for me i thought it was so original to have something like that because then you're actually seeing you know from the perspective of the people where it's like yeah you want to see the monster but if the monster is just like a fucking straight up killing machine Mm -hmm. you know it kind of is what it is and then when godzilla did come back and then they started going based off of like animal instinct alphas and betas you know fucking uh bound up because if if you saw Godzilla and Alpha and, you know, like you were Rodan or whatnot, bowed to the king, y- yeah. usually animals cover their genitals. Yeah. You know, yeah. So Chim- chimpanzees that. do that. Yeah. I saw a video of that today with a chimpanzee that had massive balls Whoa, and the two chimpanzees that were the beta to him being an alpha were protecting his balls, cupping them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, interesting. So, <laughs> there you go, man. And you won't read that in Ranger Rick. I'm telling or you that you right know. now. <laughs> We're going to do that. That's the theme of the episode. The more you know. <laughs> Each time we come up with something. Yeah. Yeah. So um, another thing that I found interesting about Godzilla was, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I think I talked about it at the top of the show was, so Godzilla's original name was Gorgira. And... Uh, the, there's a rumor that Gorgira was the name or nickname of one of the tough guys that worked at Toho who produced Godzilla. So they used it for the name of the monster. So that's something I thought was like, wow, could you imagine that? Your claim to fame is, yeah, I gave Godzilla his name. That would be pretty. <laughs> Wait, funny. so you're the tough guy? You're that guy? Yeah. You're Gojira? No, no, I could beat you up. I'm an American. <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah, I, I wasn't and, gonna go that route. That sounds right. about no. right. <laughs> and then, and then, so, and you know, I think Godzilla is one of one of many movie. Well, maybe it's just him. 
has a star on the Walk of Fame as of 2004. Um, I think so. maybe King Kong did, but no, yeah, I think yeah. it's, it just might be Godzilla that has that. Yeah, yeah. So he has a star on the Walk of Fame. And um, what did you guys think, aside from uh, Shin Godzilla, mm -hmm. did you guys watch the 1998 Godzilla? Well, Matthew uh, Broderick? You mean with... Um... Matthew Broderick, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... <laughs> The most terrifying thing of that movie is uh, the true monster in it, Matthew Broderick, because he uh, <laughs> killed people in his car. He... Oh, my God. <laughs> the more that you know. Was, that was a very bad movie that I can watch over and over again. I agree with you uh, 100%. It's, it, it's so bad. I remember going to see the movie when it first came out. My cousin and I had went to the star theater in southfield he picked me up we went to taco bell first that's when godzilla everyone was making a big deal about him because they're like oh he's leaner he's cutter he's meaner <laughs> you know that was all the big thing and taco bell had these cup holders that had godzilla as the cup holder it was i it was a little plastic <laughs> cup holder of him and it's pretty much him gripping a cup like he was gripping the empire state building so we went and got that and we got two Mexican pizzas and some whatever. And we went to the show and we snuck the food in and we went to watch Godzilla. Cause at that time, you know, and to this day, I think you can't bring in outside food. They don't want you to do that. Now they're making it a little more fanciful. They don't go to the movies. Yeah. Yep. At the same time, a lot of now they won't say this, but like you go to, you go to AMC movie theaters, uh, yeah. they don't care if you bring it in, they just want you there. When you go to AMC, you're family. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Make sure you tag them in this so we can start getting some advertising revenue. Yeah, exactly. So we can Buy go the to stock. the moon. <laughs> Shit. So, <laughs> si so let me get this first one out. We went and saw it. I loved it when I first saw it as a kid because I was like, this is going to be the end all be all. They're going to do sequels. Nothing came from it. To fast forward to now, with what you said about AMC, has nothing to do with Godzilla. I had a guy come up to me yesterday. It was Veterans Day, so I was out going to get my free food. Guy walked up to me yesterday, <laughs> did not know who he was. He said, did you know AMC sold this much stock yesterday? And I was like, I did not, but I do follow it. And he was like, man, that's wealth. He was like, get in on this AMC. This was just a stranger that I did not know we had no he went up to you and he told you about AMC. the gospel of amc that's what he was telling me the gospel of AMC. it's getting it's yeah, getting traction yeah. again yeah, it's getting yeah. traction again that's what everyone's saying yep uh by the dip um yeah, yeah. So. so we say that to say because amc used to show godzilla movies still do and yep. uh you should well, invest <laughs> dude dude uh, yeah. i forgot when it was but they did the planet of the apes mm-hmm marathon thing based off yeah. of ape nation i'm just saying but yeah. they did the whole planet of the apes i was gonna go uh go to it but instead i made sure to go see black widow i'm gonna go see like every marvel movie i can yeah. uh i'm gonna try to go see the eternals with the kids because i want to ask you off mic your opinion on something with the Eternals. so we'll talk about it afterwards but i'm mm -hmm. gonna watch shang chi tonight it's on disney plus i waited so i'm gonna go see that it tonight is? Oh, this is Disney they, Plus Day, isn't it? Yes, yeah, not to give Plus them Day free today. plugs like they need. Yeah, it. fuck them. But they're but Shane is when, out. I love yeah. it when big corporations give us just a nibble of something. Yeah. you know, like Amazon <laughs> yeah. Day, and uh, uh, what else? Uh, <laughs> what else? Other days? Uh, can we come oh. up with Walmart Day? Walmart uh, Day is a Walmart yeah. Day, of course. It yeah, is. Uh, what Where else? Everyone goes in with pajama pants on. Exactly, yeah. pajama <laughs> pants and Mountain Dew hoodies. Yeah. Uh, and then let's see what else. What else, other days that we could Burger King Day? Um, Burger King Day, where you get like a Whopper, a free Whopper. They have Seven Eleven Day. Um, I think if you have T-Mobile, you get a discount at Burger King. I saw that on one of their windows once. If you have T, which I'm like, that's a combination that doesn't need a discount. You have yeah. a T-Mobile, and all of a sudden you go to Burger King, and you're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, they have uh, Chick-fil-A day. You go yeah. there, they give you a Bible and a gun and yeah. uh, a sign that says, I hate gays. <laughs> I, and you know what's crazy? <laughs> Chick-fil-A didn't miss a beat with that. I remember when they did the one man, one woman, eat more chicken advertising. And what ended up happening was uh, they had a kiss out where, uh, you know, same sex couples would go there and they would do the uh, kissing in front of their Chick-fil-A and Chick-fil-A lost no money. They didn't even bat an eye. They were like, whatever. That's hey, crazy when a corporation gets that big. Exactly. And it's like, uh, you know, uh, they're against uh, rights of other people. But, you know, anyways, uh, <laughs> Godzilla. Godzilla. So we're back. So um, <laughs> I, do, I do collect Godzilla action figures. Uh, yeah, you've shown me. Uh, yeah. You showed me a couple of them. I, I collected the Godzilla versus uh, Kong action figure, yep. and I was highly disappointed because I thought they were going to be bigger, and they weren't. They were just. I, I don't even. I didn't even take them out the box. You know how when you buy a toy and you're like, "Oh, this is going to be dope," and then when you get it, and you're just like, "Damn it." This was not what I expected in the advertising. <laughs> I was just upset with that. I didn't even take it out the box because I thought it was going to be at least a eight or nine inch action figure, but it wasn't. It yeah. was just so I, I was I I've, I've kept them. I probably sell them. So yeah, got that. And no, I've um, had that before happen when I bought my first pocket pussy. <laughs> 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 No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! You got God. one of those for real? Yeah. No, it was supposed to be uh, like a Star Trek uh, themed one. It was like a Klingon pocket pussy. <laughs> did it make? The, <laughs> uh, did it make the sound effect when you insert the? Well, you know. Oh yeah, the what? It was the sound you know when you transport from uh, the ship to uh, to the oh. Earth or whatever whatever planet was. <laughs> That's and then, uh, wait, no, that's just vibrating. No, I do not have a Star Trek pocket pussy, but they should make one. I was going to think, like, maybe yeah. that's what I should get for Christmas. Yeah. I'll get, uh, hey, I got you. Don't worry. I will buy you. Oh, thanks, man. Or maybe one of the, <laughs> list, the listeners can do that. Godzilla themed one. There yeah. we go. Instead of buying me a hey, coffee. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> buy me some pussy. About, so, some allies that we didn't touch on. Uh, for Godzilla, so LGBT. He's, <laughs> his uh, he's had allies such as Rodan, uh, Mothra, King Caesar, uh, Manda. Who is, who is King Caesar again? That King Caesar is like a dog type reptile creature. Uh, at Ooh, least that's, he's got uh, the horns, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's Caesar, King Caesar. Oh, well, what the fuck is that thing? That looks I like know. a half Chihuahua, half. Well, like half cocker spaniel, half lizard yeah, thing. It's it's really weird looking. So you have that, and then you have Manda was an underwater sea serpent uh, who appeared in three films, including Atragon, uh, Baragon, a prehistoric monster who also appeared in three movies, including Frankenstein versus Baragon. So there you go. You got okay. another icon. Frankenstein was in that. And Garrus is one of uh, Godzilla's most famous allies, which there is a shot of Angaris in Godzilla King of Monsters. When they go down oh. to the underwater city, there's a skeletal remains of Angaris right outside of where Godzilla's crib is at. When you first said that, I actually thought you said Gareth, and I just pictured like, oh, Gareth is friends with Godzilla. He's a 40-year-old, a 300-pound <laughs> guy that lives in his mother's basement yeah yeah and that's step rd ravioli <laughs> that's that's a meat canyon episode where yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh uh jet jaguar a monster of toho uh so jet jaguar yep yeah i remember uh, jet jaguar yeah so uh that was from toho's kid friendly godzilla versus megalon uh and his other ally was go gorosaurus a dinosaur who's the only monster to appear in both King Kong and Godzilla movies. And then you have Mogera, a robot who appeared in two films. Uh, Mogera. Kumanga. Yeah, uh, Mogera. Mogera? I might be saying it wrong. Uh, Kumanga, a giant spider. Uh, I remember. Ar Kumanga. 
Yeah, Varan, four-legged spiny creature who appeared in Varan the Unbelievable and destroy all monsters. And then there's a Harry Potter ad. So there you go. Wait, so. <laughs> uh, did, you, did you say Abora? Is I didn't it, say Abora. Abora, because I, actually I think, I think it's Abora. And because there's a bunch. So if you wanted to get into the Godzilla movies, yeah. uh, HBO Max has a crap ton of them. Yes, they do. And Abora, I think it's Abora, is the big crab that he yeah. fights. Yeah. Um. And uh, every time, like I, I've, I've watched it with the kids before, and they didn't really get it because there's no, uh, it's not dubbed, so they have to read, and they're just now learning to read. Well, they kind of can, but they don't want to do the subtitles. But every time I see him, I just think of Red Lobster. Yes. And then the uh, the biscuits. So. Do you um, guys think that Red Lobster is any good? I love the biscuits. To be honest, the biscuits. Biscuit. The, biscuit. yeah, right? the biscuits. The biscuits. Yeah. yeah, like I, I'm, I haven't heard anybody in this generation say, you know what, man, I'm really craving some seafood. Let's go to Red Lobster. <laughs> I've never heard that. And John, you, you can know? buy those biscuits at uh, I think Walmart now or uh, yeah. Myers, so- which they should have on Walmart Day. Free biscuits. Ooh, free, free biscuits. Red Lo- free Red Lobster biscuits. We were just talking about uh, days that should be uh, free for big corporations. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> free free biscuits from Walmart, and you also get a gun. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a horrible wow, You covered all the bases. <laughs> biscuits which, by and the way, guns. Biscuits and guns, which, by the way, I Biscuits for to, the liberals, uh, guns for the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guns <laughs> for the, the, the right-wingers. But you know what's funny is... Uh, I went to the doctor today, and for those who don't know, I'm a vet. I'm a disabled vet. So, oh, happy Veterans I, Day, by the way. I thanks, happy man. Veterans so, Day. Thank you for your service. Thanks. Thank you. So I went to the doctor today, and normally when you go into these facilities, they give you a mask. Like you can't wear the cloth mask; you have to wear the new, the surgical mask that they have. Yep. The, so I was going in there, and uh, I, you know, they ask you all the COVID questions: Have you been tested? Have you been around anybody? So on and so forth. I'm like, no. So I'm going in, and this older guy is behind me, and he has on some hat, like some iteration of Make America something. It's bl- it's a blue hat. I wasn't paying attention. I'm just like, okay, this is another vet coming in to do what he needs to do. So uh, the guy is asking him the questions. He's like, hey, how about fuck Joe Biden? How about that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! And I turned around. And I was like, did he just say what I think he said? <laughs> <laughs> and, and he is crazy, dude. He, he came in there and he was just cussing out all the doctors and everything like that. And I was just like, wow, you know, this is crazy. You know, I'm just trying to get into my appointment. But it's funny. I find I bring that up to say that we live in a society now where we do need a big monster to unify us again. <laughs> we need some sort of cataclysmic monster to come and bring forth a uh, the reckoning that yeah. we all need to be like I was gonna say, like <laughs> we we need a, a monster, maybe a leader. Yeah. Uh, not one that is orange and yeah. can't see his dick or one that gets sundowners after yeah. four PM. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we need we need something like uh, uh a uniter, not a divider. A uniter, not a divider, but some sort of monster to come and and scare us you know like oh snap we need to get our shit right you know godzilla and, uh, 2024 godzilla right. 2024 yes so so godzilla I, uh, is a good guy or a bad guy indifferent guy. indifferent i think mm-hmm. indifferent. i think he's just destruction it just yeah. so happens that we're in it just we just so happen to populate the earth where he doesn't care you know yeah like, it's literally he will destroy the other monster and then they'll be like oh godzilla saved us and then he literally like after destroying and eating the other monster he just takes a shit on those people yeah he does and not care whatsoever he doesn't care he's not rebuilding the uh city like in another movie that so I he's an independent page now like, you remember rampage mm-hmm. in rampage when a spoiler alert all the critters destroy everything and the ape who turns out to be good uh, after he gets the dose of medicine to make him better, starts rebuilding the city. So hey, John, do you get the white ape? The white ape. Hey, John, do you have to say spoiler alert if it's a terrible movie? 
Yeah. No, I, 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 you I know think that's a good point. You don't have to yeah. do that. That's a shit movie. Spoil all you that's want, a man. Horrible movie. But my awesome son video loved... game. Yeah, oh, awesome video it's game. fucking great. 90s. Loved... Woo. Yep. My son loves the wolf because it flew. And I was like, son, it did not fly in the video game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So... All of a sudden, the fucking thing becomes a bat. Uh, yeah, I yeah, didn't understand yeah. that at all. I didn't uh, either, other than the shot at CRISPR, the gene editing. Uh, Thing, and I'm going to bring it back around because ultimately what Godzilla represented was the great fear of atomic radiation yep. and what it could do to animals and society. And another reason, and we can see that in Marvel as well. Marvel was all about, you know, radiation and uh, chemical reactions that the human body might uh, react to something negatively because of radio radioactivity so i was I've gonna always... say there's a lot of middle-aged men back in the uh uh 80s 90s that died of radiation poisoning because they saw that a lizard could get very big dipped in uh, uh radiation and yeah. they dipped their penis balls yeah and trying trying to get uh <laughs> and that is just yes and then uh, they were just filled with tumors yeah just and filled with tumors and that's, that's not it. bad <laughs> that's not bad that's 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 a good one Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you yeah thank you they, they i'll be here a, all night um, they did a marvel's uh comic series and i know i keep talking about marvel but they did a series like that where the incredible hawk was just a whole bunch of tumors it was like <laughs> the it was real just a bunch of tumors yeah, yeah, I forget which series it was, but it was like uh, it was like uh, taking place in an alternate universe where Spider-Man getting bit by the spider didn't make him a hero, but it killed him. The radiation poisoning that Bruce got from being in being get when the gamma radiation made him like a huge tumor. Uh, I forget what it was. It was like the realism of what would really happen if 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 these things occurred uh so oh interesting okay yeah yeah so if we dipped an iguana in it uh, basically all that would happen is it would just be covered in tumors it wouldn't actually uh yeah it wouldn't be yeah yeah which which i always thought he was sick because godzilla's skin looked really fucked up if you really looked at it you know what i'm saying like if you yeah. ever looked at the original i was just like okay this guy has like burns and shit like that i don't know i always i thought that as a kid like man what the hell's going on with his skin and then the other thing too is um I, they touched on it in godzilla um, the animated netflix series of how godzilla was around for a long period of time and he had offspring but they didn't mm-hmm. say how the offspring came. Remember, we talked about the Netflix series. You said you didn't like it. I did not like it. Yeah. I thought it was, um, <sighs> I don't know. You know, maybe I didn't give it a fair shot, but when I uh, uh, when I did watch it, the, the animation, yeah. I, I kind of dug, but it was just like, it was too much about the people. You weren't seeing a lot of Godzilla at the time. And maybe yeah, you got yeah. more Godzilla-y. I don't know. No, it didn't. It didn't. You're right. I mean, we watched it. But it was entertaining, but it's not. I mean, you have to really be looking for shit to be entertained by. Which, by the way, Netflix is taking really quite the anime turn. Have you guys been paying attention to that? I like, love it. Become huge in anime. Like they're yep. doing a one live action One Piece, a live action Gundam. They're doing a live action uh, Cowboy Bebop. Uh, Cowboy which, Bebop. I, which, I don't know if I completely agree with who uh, they decided to make. Um, uh, John Cho. Yeah, I, like I don't yeah. know. I've yeah. just I there there were other. You John Cho playing. Yeah, playing. Uh, I, you know what? I can't even yeah. remember the character's name. I, Spike. Are you saying Spiegel? John Snow? Spike, or Spike, Spike, yeah, Spike Spiegel. I thought there were other people that probably other like I don't know I just don't like him as an actor and like Spike Spiegel it I don't know it, it might I, work we'll have to wait and see yeah. it might work anyways God Godzilla yeah Gojira <laughs> so another thing that we noticed with the ninety eight version was there was a lot of they pulled ads. the whole fucking Jurassic Park shit man 
They yeah. did that pissed me off is like they took the concept of the dinosaurs not being male or female and you know like uh for what is it uh the frog frog yeah. dna so how they so to in order to make it a sequel they said that god was or godzilla was asexual so what it was was him being able to reproduce by himself and over time the big fear was him reproducing enough where the offspring could become the dominant species on earth which poor story writing to be honest and i really as i've gotten older i'm just like man this is crap you know like this yeah. is just really bad and then i still watch it to abuse myself because i'm just like well you know what i you don't like the abuse to be, yeah i don't deserve, <laughs> deserve to be to happy, be happy. <laughs> so i'm gonna watch this <laughs> and um <laughs> it's you know uh, my son loves that version he does yeah. he likes how it looks and he you know i will admit that the introduction of the new one was pretty cool yeah uh, with the claws coming through the the fisher the fishermen's the big sea ship that they were in yeah so i thought that was a pretty cool intro but and the then, trailer like fucking amazing oh when yeah it yeah, first yeah. Came out and everyone yeah. was like holy crap and then you actually saw godzilla yeah it was like, what the fuck did they do? Yeah, I know. They really went the iguana route. Like, they it, went full iguana. And uh, just a heads up, uh, usually when this happens too, because the bathroom is right next to my room, it's very likely that you will hear my son take a massive shit. <laughs> the mic will pick it up. <laughs> Go ahead. 100%. <laughs> I'm going to insert the Godzilla roar. Like, kadook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I... Uh... My guy... Uh, what is it? My kids never saw the, um, the 1998 version. I haven't shown it to him yet. But we no. did watch Godzilla 2000. Okay. Yeah. which came out in theaters and everything and they loved it mm -hmm. um i did show like what i was saying earlier in the episode the shin godzilla to my son and he kind of freaked out a little bit because there was just blood everywhere and yeah uh yeah you don't want your kids to see uh see that one it's it you know it is godzilla but you know kids see blood and they automatically assume the worst but could you say that maybe Shin Godzilla was an allegory for, uh, what is it, man? I wish I was quicker on my toes. Uh, for the female period? Oh. No? <laughs> uh, okay, how are you? I was, <laughs> how how, well, how I was are you making that connection? Everyone's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about like, that. Like, that's man, the most inappropriate say, thing right. we've said. Oh, I don't know about that. No, one. no, that's not a good one. <laughs> no, I mean, no, explain. I, 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 well, no, it's just uh, the, uh, so uh, throughout, you know, the Godzilla is forming, shaping into and maturing into a young adult uh, Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla, throughout the rest of the movies, I actually, as far as I know, is asexual. Yeah, okay. Oh. And so, actually, my point is is lost. <laughs> I think I was just... It's all right. I give I was you points for gas. trying, man. I, give no, you I was looking for gas. For, you so. thought it was, you were going to get a, a more of a response for the other thing? And, yeah. And then, then, yeah, man. I'm shooting it at the fills hip it out. today. Oh, buddy. Yeah. That's I'm okay. I'm sharp. I'm sharp. I had my coffee, and uh, I haven't uh, smoked weed yet, so I'm like on it today right guys no you are no i got you're you. firing I got, i'm right there with you buddy we're popping it's funny because godzilla being associated with that that is some scary shit so. <laughs> <laughs> well most people like just in in general and i know because the godzilla movies on hbo max are all criterion collection mm -hmm. and i guess what i'm trying to say is is that people look too much into movies in general to find a deeper meaning yeah sometimes it's there but like godzilla um and there have been like little documentaries i'm like well what does this mean what is a guy what is godzilla mm -hmm. allegory for could it be uh uh the penis of a male could could it mean you know uh, the uh, the floweriness of a vagina? I fucking like. So, well, there's. I was gonna say. Sorry to interrupt. The last time, no. I swear to God, <laughs> I won't do it again. No, but sorry. there's the there's the beast that he fights that is a flower, a flower blossoming. In the oh, night. uh, by bi bio. I know which one you're talking about. That's but it blooms, sister. and then yeah. he goes. He goes in 
to it. What is that supposed to mean? Come on. Or maybe it's speaking too much into it yeah. and going to penis and vagina. Okay, I'm done. I'm done talking because I keep Bi- going. Biolante. <laughs> that's the one you're talking about. Biolante. She, yeah. That's, Sounds like that's, a Spanish small plates. Yeah, uh, that's Godzilla's sister because the DNA is used in a female. So that's if you want to go that route. Wait, yeah. so I might be right? I, you could be. No. Right. Yeah, you <laughs> you're could. like, no, yeah, he's you're created not. A, it's cre- created <laughs> in the lab, and it's uh, it's the uh, DNA, and some how, somehow they get a chromosome in there that makes it a female. So I don't know, man. But uh, <laughs> I just know that uh, for me, <laughs> for, for me, Godzilla has been very enjoyable because not only are you getting the destruction and the rampage you're getting we as humans always have to root for something Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying have you noticed that like we have to root for a side with godzilla you don't necessarily root for him you're just in it for the destruction at least in my how i feel you know i just enjoy watching and seeing him destroy shit you know are we are are we creatures of chaos then i don't know man like for me i would say yes i can only speak for myself like i like the destruction you know like sometimes you want to see some shit just get blown up so you know that's how it is man i think with most godzilla movies you're not even looking at it from a um He's not like a the, hero. You don't want to see the human. You don't want to see the human point of it. You just want to see. Yeah, you want to see uh, destruction. Yeah. Even in the new Godzilla movies, I do not care about any of those characters. The no, I did. Character. So, I, I I are you rooting for the humans less. in these movies? Or are you, or are you rooting for Godzilla? Like, what? Are yeah, we just Godzilla. I guess in the first one, the first one with Brian Cranston, like, yeah, you had great, great actors in that. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed Short that lived. first iteration. Spoiler yeah. alert. Wait, what? No, I said Spoiler it was short lived. Yeah. It was enough to give me what I needed. So, yeah, I enjoyed that. I didn't think it was necessary for um, Stranger Things to be in the next one. Well, no. Or any really. of them. I mean, it was, I like uh... Kyle Chandler, though. I'm not going to lie. I do like Kyle Chandler, but mm-hmm. he was barely in the third one. Yeah. Like, it, it was ridiculous. Like, why even have his character there other than continuity between the second and the third like it was just a waste and i did and i i felt i don't know i know they were trying to do team godzilla to team uh team kong so yeah it was just a i don't know man like it was just craziness i don't i I could i'm sure there were bets placed on uh oh uh, what is it sports kings or something like that who's gonna win godzilla (laughs) yeah yeah i mean unless you know somebody on the production team who could tell you and I could have, I could have told you that neither one of them were going to win. It was just oh, a stalemate. Not. Yeah, because then the franchise would be dead. I put but my it... life savings all on Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now Godzilla did defeat Kong. Spoiler alert. But it oh was, man, um, it was just. <laughs> I don't know, man. It was. Gone. You didn't like the last now. movie. Come on. <laughs> you guys didn't yeah, like. Yeah. The... If you don't have HBO Max, shame on you. You know, I guess. Get with the time. Yeah, yeah. assholes. No, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please donate. Uh, So, you guys didn't like the last Godzilla no. Kong? You didn't like it, Aaron? I didn't. I didn't like it, no. Uh, I I did like the first one. It, it was more, I don't know. It, uh, okay, so when I saw the trailer, I think it was 2014 is when they released the trailer, 2013, for the, the new Godzilla that was coming out. And you see Aaron, whatever his name that jumps out of uh, the plane and he's yeah. falling and you're seeing all this the smoke and whatnot and you're just seeing a tail and then all of a sudden he comes out from all the, the, the fucking building mess and whatnot and he starts roaring. I was like, holy fucking shit, that's awesome. And then you get the second one and the third one and it's like, I did not, I just did not care about any of that. It just like, I don't know. I think it could have just been poor writing. And the uh, with the rest of the actual trailer, you have Brian Cranston. Like, you see something is going on. You see something is crazy. Um, yeah. And Brian Cranston's a fucking amazing actor. Yes, so, he is, man. Why is he not in more stuff? Yeah. I, he is in a decent amount, but he he has the right. He can choose his roles now. We're not talking yeah. about Cinnamon. 
Yeah. So, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> hey, you got to think on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, no, it's uh, Godzilla uh, is a cultural icon. Um, you cannot go around and ask someone, hey, even a kid, like, do you know who Godzilla is? And they'll start roaring or yeah, stomping yeah. around. And yeah. um, the best soundtrack, I believe, I think it's Godzilla, uh, what is it? Godzilla, not 1985. If I said that earlier, that's not right. I think it's Godzilla 1980. Yeah. Um, where they have the and I don't know if I can find it, I'll try to get it to you, Dom. But it's the yeah. and it's honestly, it's I, I listen they, to that right before I do my squats in the morning. They use that and they use that soundtrack <laughs> in uh, you like that? Godzilla King of Monsters, but it was revamped, but they did use it. What, did they do it like dubstep or something? No, they didn't do dubstep. <laughs> I would have turned that movie off. If there was one bit of dubstep, I would have turned that movie off. <laughs> dubstep makes everything just not good. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Let uh, me take that back. I do like some dubstep. But, yeah. I do enjoy that Skrillex. Yeah, um, Skrillex. <laughs> so yeah. do uh, you guys got anything else that you would like to add? Because we are coming to the sweet sweet end um i will say that we need to appreciate these type of iconic movie monsters because you know they hold a special place in our hearts because of what emotions they emit when we go to watch them i know that king of monsters wasn't good but i got excited when i saw Ghidorah. So, you know, I was really excited for that. That battle between Ghidorah and Kong, or Ghidorah and uh, Godzilla was fantastic. Like, I got really excited for that. But, um, like you said, I could have cared less about the human element. I could also go as far as to say that other movie monsters do do this for me as well. You know, like Universal Studios, which we need to really get into those at some point. But that's gonna um, be all you, man. I I'll I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. I never yeah. liked any of those movies except you for didn't Phantom like any Opera. of them. Really? That oh, was man. it. Yep. Man. Didn't like. Okay. I loved Nosferatu. Didn't like Dracula. Okay. I let's see here. I liked. What is it? You got the Wolfman, uh, the Benicio del Toro version. Is I did like the Wolfman, Benicio. <laughs> yes, I, I, yes. It was okay. It was yeah. okay. I just, honestly, I just never really got into it other than maybe toys and then Monster Squad. That was it. Wolfman's yeah. got nards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, the, this uh, Godzilla is like a, a cultural icon. People get tattoos of them. People, shit, like like we said, mangas, animes, movies, yeah. uh, books uh, on this. This was something that came out of uh, Japan and created a movie industry there for the most part. It kept them going. Yes, it did. Uh, and it, it's, it's an iconic image when you see him roaring or diving back into the ocean, back to the watery depths because yep. you're don't know when he's going to come back and they build on that mythos of an alpha sensing another alpha so that's why he comes up when he does but um was that in the actual original movies though i don't think that was i think no 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 i'm just saying from the newer ones that's what the mythos is is these titans sensed another titan around so it can't be two titans so are are these just like a bunch of frat boys just peacocking yeah i was gonna say it's uh david portnoy is godzilla (laughs) from uh barstool sports (laughs) yeah oh shit yeah (laughs) like you don't know who you want to win like no but that's uh he's got receipts supposedly so i'm not even uh david portnoy is a paper-handed bitch oh so yep Shots fired. He he's not gonna listen to this fucking thing. Fuck him. Anyways, um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, two alphas. They meet. One becomes a beta and ends up getting probably mounted and fucked in the ass by the other. Godzilla, everyone. Yay! Yeah, hey, in a yeah. nutshell, the more you know. Yeah, that's the way you close it. So, 
All right. No. Uh, and- don't forget to uh, like and subscribe as always, and you'll hear my little message at the end of this episode. Uh, Don, uh, let's talk about the blogs, eh, John, Don? Yes. Yeah, so um, we do have blogs that will probably, what do you want to do, Don, like weekly blogs? Yeah, that, that sounds good. We've been knock. well, you've been knocking them out. Um, yeah, you've been yeah. putting them out. Like Shout out to crazy. you. Um, yes, we've been we're doing weekly, man. So yeah, and then we did record the uh, first episode of Behind the Nostalgia. I did record it with Annie. Whoa. I have to edit it, and it is uh, short and sweet. And uh, we will be offering. I actually think, um, but Don and I will talk about it. It's just a quick little blurb on Jinko jeans, and um, you know. Uh, if you want to, when you listen to it, give us coffee. Um, we Someone do appreciate. Actually, some people actually did. I that was my other show announcement. Thank the people that actually donated to us. Uh, do they have uh, screen names or anything? They do, but I don't know if they feel comfortable with me blurting it out. I don't know. Maybe they're ashamed to actually donate to to people like us. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but hey, I, I it, appreciate you know. it. Yeah, I'm fucking cool with it. And that's the other thing is like if I put out these episodes, give us some coffees. Uh, Don, I'll be waiting for my cut. I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll get right on that. Uh, but yeah, that, <laughs> he's like biting his lip like motherfucker. No, this, <laughs> so, this yeah. is great, man. This is great. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is what we envisioned so, yeah. for the show in the beginning that we would be doing the blogs. Also, the newsletter which actually uh, gives you a sneak peek on next week's episode uh, to basically get that rattling in your head before you even hear us. Um, So we did our first newsletter last week. uh, And of course I dropped a sneak peek of this, uh, of the episode we dropped as of today, Friday was it November 12th. Uh, Mm -hmm. Of course we just dropped the new episode well by the time you hear this it'll be old episode but whatever yeah uh and john did the blockbuster blog and he did the what the 80s cartoons 80s cartoons uh, yeah. saturday morning cartoons so, you, so yeah. yeah check it out man and we got old episodes that you can check out aaron has some shit uh behind the what was it called? The behind the nostalgia, behind the nostalgia. fuck you man <laughs> fuck you we gotta push that boy shit, man. We get well, a little money in our pocket. We get we change. Yeah, it's in. gonna be coming out here soon, and then I'm gonna be doing extra episodes uh, with that. Possibly, I don't know. Talking about 90 Day Fiance. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Get oh, uh, yeah. get that going. But um, I want to start watching that. No, don't, don't. Why not? I, ha- I am forced to by gunpoint. <laughs> sure um, you are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, I I haven't watched it, but I know No Neck Ed really annoys me. No yeah, neck it Ed, is um, <laughs> the destruction of United States, the United States in general. It will be our downfall. Anyways, good night, ladies and gentlemen. We love and appreciate you. Keep listening. And the other thing too is, you know, reach out to us via Instagram, via Twitter. You just want to chit chat about nostalgic things. Myself, Don or John will gladly, well, I know I will, I'm not going to speak for the guys, but I will gladly talk to you about nostalgia and also my pog collection yes yes that is that's yes you're uh, so that's happy all i talk about, about with the guys outside of this that and how uh starbucks coffee is going downhill oh you didn't yeah you don't like the pumpkin spice anymore i fucking hate the pumpkin spice oh boy oh. i didn't Damn. get much of it this year how, how are you going to say that and we asking people to buy us coffee? Now they're going to like get mixed signals like, well, he doesn't Dunkin even like donuts. what I... Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Oat milk, please. Or the other one. Yeah. Uh, what was it? it begins Splendous. with a B. It begins with a B. Bungie coffee? Big B? Big B. <laughs> Bungie. <laughs> there you go. I, I was close. I had the B in there. Eh, all right. Uh, Good night, everyone. Good night. Hey guys, it's Aaron. You think you could do me a big fave? Wherever you're listening to this right now, rate and subscribe. Find new episodes where you listen to podcasts and look for us on all the social media sites and Gmail at After School Special Podcasts at Gmail, After School Special Podcasts at Instagram and Facebook, and After School SPE3 on Twitter. King Kong.
was a gorilla and you see like a, a, a gorilla primate or an ape and you know you never see his balls you don't 